What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, guys. Oh man, it's it's the New Year's. It's uh it's 2018. Um I hope we start off with a good year, guys. Uh honestly, uh last year was freaking awesome. Okay, I just have to let you guys know that. Last year was one of the best years for this YouTube channel. You guys have grown this YouTube channel so much and i want to give a huge thank you guys to every person who has subscribed to this channel it means the world to me i love it i love you guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to do the uh the prophecy is true meme and i've seen this a lot in um in a lot of my dms on instagram a lot of you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on how to do this actual effect and actually it's not that hard it's actually pretty easy uh i know the actual video uh, they've for sure edited in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro because of the effects, but this can you can still do this in Final Cut Pro 10. Like Final Cut Pro 10 is is a beast, okay? And a lot of people really underestimate Final Cut Pro 10, but knowing uh, the capabilities of this program, you can do anything, okay? And I am on the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10 10.4, the latest version as you can see there. I will be making a video uh, talking about the new features and stuff. If you guys do want me to do that. Be sure to leave a like and turn on the bell notification. So let me go push play and, and show you guys the actual video. So uh, I'm just I'm just gonna shut up and push play. All right, guys, right there is the effect. Now I try to replicate it as as much as possible. It's pretty. It's a little bit hard doing in Final Cut Pro 10. Don't get me wrong, but it's still possible. I would go ahead and create a new project. So go to File New Project and then name this. I don't know. I'm just naming this. Prophecy, and I'm gonna do tutorial because I already have one. And then from here, where it says video, go down to custom. If you're gonna be opening this on a mobile device, such as an iPhone or an Android, you wanna go onto the resolution and change that to 640 uh, by 640, which is the square format that they used. Or you can go just to the normal 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 1280 by 720 at 30 frames, okay? Um, so that's what I'm gonna do it at for now. So I'm gonna click on it. Okay, and you're gonna see that right now It's on a square. This is totally fine Okay, you guys can export this and then create a new project in 1920 by 1080 and then just import it there And then you will have the square video with everything uh, exported and then you're just gonna have the 1920 by 1080 format if that makes sense So uh, we're gonna go ahead and drag this here and you can see the format is it fits perfectly So we have this going on and I'm gonna go ahead and skip it to I think it's like around here. I'm also gonna go ahead and decrease the volume So <laughs> right there is where she does that weird noise I don't know what it is, but uh, we're gonna go there and then she starts or stops right here Right there is where I want it to stop okay now once we've cut it We're gonna select that last bit and we're gonna go into edit and go down to add freeze frame uh, go to shift Z and then you're gonna have just a still image. That's what you want. Okay um, Maybe not there. Maybe you want it around Here so wherever your time head is at that's where we're gonna add the freeze frame So go to edit and then go down to add freeze frame or option F So once you are done with that delete that and then delete this now We should have our still image and you can see how this works Sweet. So once you're done with that, all we need to do now is add the videos. I like to first add everything and then later just edit it all together. So I'm going to go on to this one here. And this will be also be down in the description. And I'm also going to drag this one. I think this one's going to be uh, behind this one. Yeah. And then I'm also going to cut this, delete these. All right. So once you're done with that, uh, we're going to go back into the uh, first frame here, and we're going to go ahead and mask this out without using Photoshop because we want to do everything in Final Cut Pro 10. So all you got to do is go into the uh, inspector window, go into the effects, go onto all video and audio, and just type in mask. Look for the draw mask, drag that on top of that first footage, select it, and then now it says click to add a control point. So click, um, if it helps you, you can go to, you know, 25% and then kind of zoom out. I think that's a little bit too much, so I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to fit, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click here, here, and then just go ahead and make a very very precise cut here. And if you have to zoom in, please do so and zoom in. Uh, so you just want to go ahead and go to the edges. Maybe I want to go to 100%, and you can use this to go up or down. I'm gonna go like that, 
and right here. So click and drag to make some curves. And I'm gonna do this right over here. And I'll just come back to you guys once I'm done. All right guys, so once you have masked that out, you're gonna see something like this, right? Sweet, so we obviously have the format wrong for these two other videos. So all you have to do, just select both of them, go onto the transform and just scale this up so it fits the frame there. So like that and maybe up a little bit. So uh, I don't know, click done. So that, that should be good there. And you can see how it's zooming through space. Sweet. So once we're done with that, you're going to see something like this. So all you got to do now is we're going to add a handheld effect, which will give us that shakiness effect. You can also add the earthquake effect if you want, but I like the handheld. It just looks smoother and nicer. I don't know. So once you're done with that, go to the first frame here or the first, uh, you know, the first layer here, and you're going to see that it's already moving very slowly. So we're going to go ahead and just decrease this a lot to around 14 ish, 13 ish and increase this to like a lot. So maybe 70, 75. So it looks something like that. Sweet. So once you're done with that, the next thing we need to do is add the a bulge effect. Now this is a custom preset, a custom effect. Uh, if you guys want to know how to install plugins, it's super easy. I will leave a link for you guys to watch down in the description. Be sure to watch that super simple. Uh, so just uh, watch that and come back. And uh, once you have this installed, it's called the Bulge. It's also a free plugin. Click and drag that onto your first frame or your first layer. I keep saying that. I don't know why. Then go here to the beginning. So we're going to go to Bulge and then we're going to go into the amount. So don't get this mixed up. Okay. So first we're going to go to zero. Okay. So nothing's happening. And then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and go to uh, these two plus icons. Click on both of them to add a keyframe. Push play and then stop it there. It's roughly about a second and a half or a couple of frames. I don't know how many. And then from here, all you have to do is uh, go. So the amount you want to drag this a little bit to the right. So it's quite big as you can see there. Then you're going to go to the scale and drag this to the right. So it kind of uh, shrinks a little bit. Now though, the, the sucky part about this, oh, don't go left too. Um, let's see if I did that right. Uh, yeah, that's 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 about right. So the sucky part about this is that it leaves like this uh, this outer ring thing. I don't know why it does that. If you guys know a way to get that removed, please let me know. That'd be awesome. Or if you guys have a different plugin that is for free with the bulge effect, that'd be cool too. But I think this looks cool. Uh, so I'm gonna go push play. Looks just like that. Um, sweet. So you can always change the values, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna do that. So we have the draw mask, handheld, and bulge in the first one, okay? Now all we got to do is go to your opacity. So we're going to go here. What I like to do is I go into the lights and the transitions. You can do bloom, you can do light noise, or lens flare, or flash. I did the flash, so I'm going to drag that there. And it's going to go like that, okay? And I'm going to make this a little bit shorter in length. Okay, so go to the first one, then go onto the opacity, okay? And we're going to go from the beginning there and we're going to go into the plus icon. Then we're going to go, I don't know, about a couple of seconds in and just lower the opacity to around 50, 60, between 50 to 65% opacity. So you can see through the cat and you can see the sky. So we got going, we have that going on. And then the next thing we need to do is select the space travel video or the bluish video here that's kind of kind of like zooming through space. Go ahead and select that one and go to the blend mode and go to, I think it's add or lighten. Uh, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, I like the add one. It just gives it that really cool effect. Sweet. So now you have something like this going on. looks super trippy. looks dope in my opinion. So once you're done with that, all we need to do now is add the sound effects or the music. So we're going to so go ahead and drag the hand simmer mountain sound effect. So we're going to drag that there. And then I'm going to zoom out to about this area here and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to delete this and drag this to the beginning there. And I'm also going to cut this so we don't need that. So now we have something like this and it looks like it starts here. So let me go push play. Yep, that's where it starts. So I'm going to go ahead and go around, I don't know, like something like this. So right as kind of this 
middle part here starts to get a little bit louder, you want to go ahead and first decrease this because it's a little bit too loud. You What you want to go ahead and do is uh, position this so we have the mountains, uh, the soundtrack pretty much. So we're going to go ahead and just first uh, add a little fade here. And then between this point and this point here, in the between here is where we're going to add our kind of like a fade or a very sudden sudden fade. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a keyframe here. And then uh, here, we're going to go ahead and select this and add another keyframe. Then here on the right side, just drag this up a little bit. And I'm going to drag this one to the bottom here. So we should have something. Let's lower this a little bit more. Uh, something around 8. And this will be around 21. So let's see how that sounds. Oh, that's perfect right there. So that is perfect. So we got negative 21 decibels and it will jump up to negative 7 decibels. Sweet. So now that we have that music going on there, we got to add the matrix voice. So uh, or matrix Morpheus. So I think that's around 58 seconds. So around here. So I'm going to cut this. Also, you guys can get this from YouTube. It's really easy to do. And I'll delete this and I only need this right here. So now I'm also going to, I'm going to actually decrease the sound here because it's a little bit too loud and I want to, I want you guys to be able to hear it. So let's, there we go. I think something like that. Sweet. So that looks really good in my opinion. The next thing you need to do is just cut this off to, I don't know, wherever you want it. So like, let's see right there. Let's, let's cut it there. Okay. So we're going to decrease all of these and right there sweet i think we're pretty much done here uh all we got to do is just export it so we got going we have that going on and then we have everything going around in the background uh, one last thing so don't go yet uh, i'm gonna go into the uh, video here we also have to uh, make this bigger so go on to the uh, transform tool here you can't see anything but i have the cat selected go to the plus icon and go to the very end and then go one frame one keyframe to the left and then just make this, I don't know, quite big, something like that. And then click done. So now if I push play, it's going to zoom up towards the, it's going to, it's going to zoom up throughout the whole video. So let me push play. And there you go. That is how you do the prophecy is true meme. That's as close as I got in Final Cut Pro 10. If you guys know any other way, please let me know. But be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.